What's up everyone, this is Daniel Valencia from Scale Freaks. Welcome back to my channel. So this time, um, after a couple of questions and uh, a few of the inquiries about uh, this plane, the Dauntless, I'm putting together a small video just to show uh, in orderly process what I actually did after paint uh, for this plane. So this time I use Model Masters not uh not the tamiya acrylics so the difference that i've found uh model masters depending on how you spray it leave a little bit of a rough surface so it's easier for uh, certain steps of the the weathering process um here i use the regular paintbrush you kind of like uh pass it on top of the pastels and it starts getting uh let's call it dirty so once you start passing it on the actual paint it starts creating this very, very subtle and light uh, dirtiness on top of the paint. That's the, the first step that I did. So after that, you move on to color crayons. Um, this time I'm using Prisma colors. I know on this part, they seem a bit sharp. So what you do, you actually use a paper and kind of like round the tip a little bit. That way the the lines are not that hard and you're not pretty much scratching the paint you just want to leave a little bit of the color on top then of course you use a cotton swab and kind of like smooth everything around you blend it together remember that you're gonna have um, dry pastels so everything will blend together pretty much what you do with the prisma colors you're using the, the color exactly where you want it um, to protect all those I use these testers clear coat um, after this, uh, we're going to move on to decals. Um, for the decals, I don't go anything fancy. Well, at least not on this thing. I use the regular classic Microset and Microsol. These products are awesome to throw in the decals on top of any model. Uh, first, you use Microset, then you apply a decal, use Microsol, and then it gives it that nice paint, uh, painted effect on the decals. Then, um, after everything's arrived and everything's set, we move to the panel line uh, wash uh, thing. So we apply this on top of the whole model. There's uh, tons of videos on that showing you how to apply this. It's like a soapy type solution. So you apply it to all and then with uh, like a rag or a napkin, depending on what the surface is, you remove the excess and it gets strapped in between the panel lines. Remember to very gently uh, puncture every single rivet where there's decals that way the panel line gets you know uh, dirty inside after that we move on to the we move on with the flat coat again I'm using testers nothing fancy remember this flat coat you apply it by layers uh, sometimes your airbrush will shoot these little white drops that they'll settle and they start creating this big bump so after each layer, wait for it to dry, gently remove the excess of those little spits or, you know, little balls or parts, particles, whatever. And then you kind of like continue with the next layer. So after this, uh, your plane is pretty much protected. Then we move on to only darker colors. Again, these are uh, dry pastels. These will be applied pretty much to, you know, the machine guns. Uh, kind of like where they trace uh, the smoke or exhaust or something more that will stay on the plane, not that subtle, but more yet hotter or more obvious. Um, again, you know, like the smoke and, and all that stuff from the exhaust. You use brown, black, whatever, dark colors. Moving on, um, we're going to use a Prisma color. This is a metallic pencil, uh, not made out of metal, of course, but it's a... Uh, the silver metallic that gives it that uh, aluminum look for when you want to chip your the corners and everything so pretty much that's what I use that's the order I went on um, you can see here um, this is kind of like the result you see what I was talking about on the rivets you kind of like sharpen a toothpick and then you puncture every rivet on the on the decal that way you get that look as if the decal was painted you have to do it very very gently otherwise you'll destroy the decal then um, you move around you can see the very subtle parts of the pencils that I was telling you 
There's a lot of Prisma colors and very brownish look. Again, also with, uh, with a mix of the dry pastels. Here's the exhaust. It's a little bit stronger than the rest of the plane. And then some of the spots are gonna be stronger as well. So uh, as you move around the plane, you gotta find those spots where uh, they get either more dirty or the crew walks around the plane. And then you play with these uh, products that I was showing you. And um, this is pretty much the process. Again, this is a small quick video to show you how I did it to answer a couple of the questions that have been asked on, on what was the process to finish this Dauntless. Thank you guys, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Any question, whatever you want, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to reply in the comments and uh, please share the video, uh, like it, subscribe. And again, I'll be bringing you more videos. Thank you so much.